Ah, oh, them potatoes are great. Whenever you're bored, just throw on a chunk of tater. It really makes you respect Crucian and Gibble Carps. Alright, we gotta go. Target has been bombarded. Hey everybody, welcome back to Russian Fishing 4. It's in the afternoon. I don't like starting them this time, but I thought I would because the weather looks good tomorrow. We can fish all day. It's cloudy without rain. Grass carp, not too huge a one. Tench, good sized one. White breams. It's a lot of perch. Alright, well that's good to know. Um, I'm thinking... Have a tater quick. Thinking of going back to my favorite spot here because the wind looks good for it. It's blowing into that spot, I think. Which I think is supposed to be good for fishing. It blows the bait fish in. I have a good feeling. It's a pretty good spot. The wind isn't that bad. 3.2 meters a second. No idea what that translates into meters a second. That's one of the dumbest measurements I've ever heard. Night crawler here. Why not? Bait. Let's see what we got. Ah, let's just make it. Oh, I can't use corn yet. Ah. Oh. Let's go with a blood worm. Dang it. Send the Asteria deep hole diving with the crawler. What we have. Cheese. I'm gonna try this here too. Ooh, nailed it. Alright, it's cloudy, rainy, and warm. I'm feeling pretty good. It's 3.47 in the afternoon. Let's try a little spinning too, huh? You. Silver in the cloudy. Let's try it. I always in real life fished on sunny days, fish darker lures. On low light times, fish brighter lures. That'll reflect the little sun there that there is. And I don't know if the shiny work, but the dark lures in the sunny weather definitely seem to help me in real life. What do we got for speed? Don't catch tons here spinning, but perch, chubs, and some ides. The usual suspects. Hoping to get a couple fish spinning, but I'll go to the TL. Because I need my float fishing skill, too. I want to get a bowl of knees on here quick. Skill has been coming real hard in that, so I haven't been trying to hit it. But Alright, one more cast. Let's try a cross ponder. Twenty-one. I like faster. I can't stand those long, slow retrieves. They're probably better, but they're not good for my stress level. And fishing is supposed to be a stress reliever. We got a bite. Owner crawl, daddy. It's on there. I pull a night crawler for the rest of the day and maybe look at her hooks later on and see maybe just pick off one hook if we need something for a size. What do we got here? Is that a big old gibble? Nice gibble. Oh, I like it. I plan on doing a little bit of a tutorial for ground bait just to show you how to skill up too. We'll do that tonight.
or when it's slow. Concentrate on the spinning right now. It's not very big. One thing I realized by that first episode with the new reels, by passing the mono down to this one, I got a little more horsepower with it. I never even should have got rid of that super line quicker. The whole bait refilling. Is that a roach? Little roach. Hmm. I'm going to change this. Pearl barley. Screw the tenches. Try the whole pull of barley. Perfect. Aim for that barn, that side of that barn, that dock in that area. I think if you look at the map, yeah, that's right in the middle of it. Boom, boom, right in there. It is the pearls. We'll pull that crawler, but we'll leave it for the night. Hopefully we can get something. I don't know that I fish with night crawlers here much. Because even on my main account, I didn't spend any money till I was, I don't know, level 14. I wouldn't even recommend spending any money. If you do, very limited to maybe get some bait, some night crawlers and whatnot. Because, I don't know, it's just a snafu. What is that? Ooh, white bream. Man, I'm catching a lot of white bream. I'll take it, though. Where's ground bait? Making ground bait. I'm only 4% here. 15% to get to pearl barley, which is great for bream. Then you can start using the feed, egg, cheese, wheat, and milky cream, which is the new attractant company, which I like. I don't use it a ton. But 15, so you gotta get to 15%. So 15 times five is what? 75 things of ground bait you need to make before you're, you can even possibly get to your second level components. So what I do, and I do it kind of less intense than you would have to, but once you get the pasture nester rig open, you don't just have to throw it. You can start just making I call it basic. It seems silly, but all you do is make it with ground crackers. And this is to begin with. Just if you're out of money or whatever, always just have crackers. And then I'll do a basic plus, we'll call it. And then I'll put plus M. And that'll be my basic crackers with fly maggots which that is probably till you get cheese and what you really want is the corn that's in tench mix I still can't make even official tench mix on my main account but and then we'll go a basic plus B for blood worms Nope, cancel. Wrong thing. Mixture. Oh, yeah. I need the crackers and a blood worm. And make. And one thing I learned for once you're over 15, I just learned this. I kind of learned in the game myself. Is you can use this melted cheese. I mes mentioned it in a different one. But the big wheels of cheese you get at Cory have 10 pieces in them. And if you use one with 10 pieces making ground bait, it doesn't use one, it uses all 10. So either eat it down to one, or just buy this melted cheese for your ground bait. That makes perfect. It's got Sputnik on it. You'll see it in the store. It's in the grocery store. And that's it. And then just load up on your pasture nester rigs and try different stuff. I have a tendency I like the maggots more. And you can even do your basic plus, plus I guess, with maggots and blood worms. And then just experiment. It's actually the ground bait's quite fun. That 15% seems daunting. But when you start using pasture nester rigs with just that crackers, you know, you're talking, what is it, 60 cents, 65 cents? 
it increases your catches and it's I would say it's definitely covering its cost just in increased activity where you're gonna catch more fish and you'll make that 65 cents up in those 20 ground baits for sure I would think all right and that concludes part one of the Bavarian ground bait tutorial Now for this foolishness, we're going to ground and pound TL right in those lilies right there. Ah, Bolognese is, Bolognese is great here. Once you get enough skill to start getting along that weed edge. All right, all right, all right. Where are you at? It's on the pearl barley. Ooh, Nightcrawler. Nice. I get very confused with my rods because i got two accounts I fish a lot on. crank this baby in and get it right back out there. What do we got there? Is that a tiny bear bot? It is. Dang, it'd be nice to get a couple flags. Alright, like I said, I never really... Technically, this should be an alright bear bot spot. I don't know if it's going to be the best. It's... 50. 5. Oh, we gotta go a little further. Alright. Target has been bombarded. TL. Let's stick with maggot. What are we at? Boom. Go to 61 centimeters. Man, you can cast TL. Pay attention to our skill here. Ooh. Ooh, it's a nice fish, too. Eyed. Beautiful. You should probably get some mono for this, too. Get serious about TL. Let's go to... Try some sweet doughs. Oh, we're down to 14 pieces of sweet dough. I wonder. Maybe a little work. Huh, let's switch this over to wheat seeds. We got a white bream on this. Oh, I got something on the crawler. Come on. That bell never even went. It's still going. Oh man, that could be good. I don't know what that could be though. It's a big old combo. All right, all right, we got some meat. That sucker pulled it right out of the hole up towards me. Maybe a tiny catfish, it looks like, possibly. Yep, it's a cat. Tiny one. They're not worth crap for money, anyways. I do like catching big ones, though. That 16 kg one was awesome. So huge when you pulled it in, it was awesome. Put my arm in his mouth. Right there, a little gibble, a little gibbled carp. Yeah, I think. Man, that's cool. That's the moon, not the sun. All right, so we need to get maggots, bloodworms. A couple maggots, a couple bloodworms, maybe a couple crackers. 
and then you're pretty much fully stocked. Keep those three things, sunflower oil, maybe some caramel. You can make the roach mix. You can make the crucian gibble. But save them for when you're doing that specific fishing or when you find hot fishing for that species already. If you're just trying to grind that skill, you just freaking do it with the basic stuff. Once you get to tier 2, it doesn't seem like that's a lot of stuff opens, but it does. I think you get fish oil as an attractant. It's expensive than heck. I'm going to do some do some video with that, I think, soon. I'll try it at Cory, maybe. Try to find a ground bait that works at Cory in the deep hole. Oh, yeah. Get it? Oh, that looked like it was a different fish. That was crazy. All right, let's try inside. Right there, how about, boom. Man, you're the rod, TL. There's nothing you can't do. Count. We're about 50%. That's a nice gibble. That's a nice white bream. Hmm. Oh, we got a nice fish. Ooh, what is that? Big old common roach? God, TL, I love you. Oh, yeah, baby. I like catching big common roaches, for sure. Set you down now. Oh, jeez, you can't even set TL down. got there it's more like a big old gibble I'll take it float fishing 28.8 so we need 1.2 percent it doesn't seem like much but man the XP's have really slowed down I did say we we're gonna come noob fishing this time so there we go and I don't know, it's saving the frickin' day. It gives me something to do. And those are silver fish, so. Let's try the wheat seeds. Another experiment we want. And Ides. Let's see if we pick off any Ides. You do get them a lot around here. So, they're here. We didn't get any on pearl barley. That's almost too long, I think. Got to watch it. You're skilling. Look at that new reel. Oh, it feels good to have a good reel. Something to just can get a little bit more fish. It's just rejuvenating to my spirit. Check. Ground beat's gone. Let's pull it. Let's celebrate. Let's do a celebratory. We're going to go chop frickin' uh, taters. Ooh, nice fish. Gibbled. Hmm. I'll take it. It's not the experience I'm looking for, but I was trying to get this right up in there. Maybe we drop a chunk of cheese right in there. Ooh, what's that? A nice big old crucian. Try that again. This is that night crawl I was dragging on. See why I tighten that line up? Where the fuck is it going? Oh, sorry for that. I don't like swearing, but sometimes it's hard because I'm a hillbilly. Tiny Chinese. Oh, not bad. Silver. Uh, bait. This is risky, peeps. Almost out of sweet doughs. You know how incredible that is for me? I am a bait freak. I usually don't like getting under a hundred baits of one kind. So that's gonna have to be fixed. Try 
there's 75. All right, there we go. I like that area right there from that duckweed to the lilies to that grass. If you can get it right in them lilies, boom, let it sink and just barely tighten it. It's good for tench, good for grass carp. The spot you get more grass, you get an occasional black carp. Not a ton of them. I can't wait to go try my black carp spot because I haven't fished there in a few months. And it'll be very interesting to see if that my ground bait theory works but we don't have anything to even go for them with hmm what do we got 14 fish let's try a little spinning Just a couple casts T all right, let's try this four out of 10 common roach. Oh, it sounds good. Bavarian kipper roach, salt cured. Can't wait to have an auction house. I'll sell you guys all my kipper salted roaches. Do a little cottage industry capitalism at work. Not a dang. Oh, yeah. What do we got? We got something on the tater. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Let's bring it on, though. We got a little bit more. I knew them taters could be a mistake. We'll have to go through the line. Ooh, what do we got? I'm going to hit it up into the red a little bit. I'm going to do my best. Try to get this. If it fail, I fail. This is live. Action cam. Bavaria versus the beast. The beast old Berg. Ah, oh, them taters are great. Whenever you're bored, just throw on a chunk of tater. It really makes you respect Crucian and Gibble Carps. Alright, we gotta go. I started the walk a little slow. And at this point, you just hope you don't waste all your time for a big old dumb carp. In your mind, just pretend it's a tench. I did see on a leaderboard where there was a leader tench caught. I'm going to tighten down. There was a leaderboard tench that was caught on a taters. Glad I got a keep net. It's all fallen into place. World domination stage one. I like to fish once. But I really kind of want to go to Mosquito. Let's go to Mosquito next. I'm going to go to the cottage too and dump off a bunch of stuff. Oh, we got him. He's surfaced. Prepare for landing. Rod high. It might be a dumb carp. It's pretty freaking big, whatever it is. Oh, you know what? I've never caught one of these. It's a true poop carp. Whoa! 
that's it. 4.484 grass carp. 2,152 XPs. We needed that. Yeah, baby. Guess what that means? And they are a powerful looking. I think the model is exactly the same for the black. They're probably closely related on the... As far as species. Oh, yeah, baby. Cheese. Grass carp. Cheap ground bait. And a tater. Should we go for another one? No, oh, we can't. There's not enough time. It's already been recording for an hour. Let's just go with... Bait. How about a grasshopper in the hole? Experimental. Very limited again in experience. With grasshoppers, I've caught a few fish with them. Nothing special. But they're on the leaderboards a lot. So they're they're good bait. Probably been on there the whole time I've been gone. Now when you come here, be sure you're prepared if you throw taters on over there. Because there's rod breakers, real breakers, line some takers live over there. Just got to be careful what bait you use. But man, that's fun. When you're not having a greatest day fishing, just throw a tater on there. It's bound to get exciting. Thrilling. It's more thrilling. Because they are fun fighting them things. It almost looked like an Asiatic carp. Big head carp. Poop carp. Was that an eyed we caught on the wheat seeds? Man, I'm just out of it. I get thinking of so much stuff doing this, playing this game even, even when I'm not recording. Ooh, there we go. That, it's hard to keep up. This is how my brain works. I think about learning something, and then before I learn it, I'm already thinking about learning something else. Perch. There we go. That's where I wanted to go. Boo. It's daydreaming. Almost missed it. This is a nice one. Big old perch. Use the net. Get it. Ooh, nice. And I got two tenths. So we're at 12.5. 2.5%. And I can use some spoons. Got my eye on a few already. Right, let's go a little deeper. All right, let's go give TL a try for an hour. See if we can sling on another nice fish. Put some worms on it. One nice perch there. That helps keep net. Oh, we got to get two more fish. I want to get 20 fish. TL out. We'll get worm on it. We'll head right back to the same hole. Who's that? Ooh, nice common roach. All right. Job well done, TL. 20 fish. But next week, mystery. Possible mosquito, possible windy. Probably pick the one that I think will work out weather wise. Or maybe here. Maybe even just go to Balaya. And surprise everyone what do you think about that okay hey guys sounds like you're hamming it up tonight let's see what see what we got for you
We got a whole lot of nothing. White bream. Oh, it wasn't big enough. That would have been a nice one. Grass cart. Boom. $33. And those don't sell for a lot. Boom. Forgot about that contract. Save the day. We're going to be able to buy a reel today. Sweet. I only need like 10 out of here. That at least tripled my money there. They're not worth much. 443 common roach, dollar 76. Common roach 4, crap. 341 for that big perch we got spinning. Yep, and that was an eyed. So wheat grains, eyeds. Chinese sleeper, dollar 27. This crucian 676, dollar 38, dollar 69, dollar 90. Those are all 60. That 1 kg common roach, 412. The, uh, that's crap. Uh, 46 26 catfish just suck 209 for a 527 six cents for that little eyed 20 cents for that bird body it was small 510 white bream is 514 common roach crap and 220 for our first gibble carp 809 for 26 bucks oh yeah baby so that was 50 almost 60 silver on a day I was worried about. Check our gear fast, see if anything's emergency coming. That line is taking abuse. The rod, the reel's doing fine. Hmm. All right. Let's do it. Pulling the trigger. Lacerdi is ours. And we'll get nothing else. We get line next one. That's not too much. Nope. Nope. No. Hardware store. Grocery store. We need. We need some salt, I know. We need. stinking milk ah there it is pasteurized milk one two three four I'm gonna start dropping some of the extra food I get one bread into the tent the stuff I can't eat stuff for things and all right, everybody, let's make up a little bit of sweet dough. I don't know how much wheat flour I got. Two or three. I usually make to around 100. Ooh, 28.2. Start digging some worms. We'll have our next baits open. Ah. Oh. So that's it. But, all right, we've got a goal. We can make some more sweet dough. And we'll check all our stuff. I'll make a list. And we're going to do a big cooking and fishing and bait making one. Check our skills. And that's it. Anybody have any questions, please comment. Please like and subscribe. I need all the help I can get. And I'm going fishing. Have a good one, everybody. Bavarian live action cam. There ain't no action there, that's for sure.